mental self-control and discipline. Now that is real power. Welcome to the Growth Mindset episode 11. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the three characteristics, the three characteristics that I believe somebody living the growth mindset needs to embody. Three characteristics that everybody who is in the growth mindset has. The first one being emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is this, it's this piece. I think it's actually one of the most valuable things that you could have in life because it allows you to connect with people, allows you to read people and having a level of emotional intelligence comes as you go through different experiences and reflect on those experiences. So I think one of the major characteristics in somebody who's living the growth mindset is developing their emotional intelligence. And that comes again, through having experiences going through them and then having the awareness to reflect on them. That leads into the second characteristic that I believe everybody who's living the growth mindset should embody and has, which is awareness, right? We have two states of living. We have the egoic state and the awareness state of living. And I bounce between the two all the time. And I think that they're having that teeter totter is natural. I think if you only lived in your awareness state, either you would be enlightened, you'd be living with Buddha, baby. Or, you know, you wouldn't have that, that, or you'd be lying maybe. But if you only lived in that awareness state, that would be, I think it's sometimes a problem. So teeter-tottering between that egoic state and that awareness state is n normal, natural. But it's in those moments of that awareness state. So when you move out of your ego and your egoic state and you reflect on a situation and you bring awareness to it, you see all sides of it. I think that's where in your reflection and your awareness state that a lot of growth happens. So that's why I believe that the second characteristic of a growth mindset is that awareness. And then the third one, it's simple but difficult. It's being vulnerable. So if you want to grow and live the growth mindset, you have to be willing to be vulnerable and look at yourself deeply in the mirror and be open. And that can be really, really hard sometimes. Like the vulnerable piece to me, I think is one of the hardest because it you have to let down your walls. And we have walls for different reasons, right? From our past, from our future, you know, those walls that get built up, even there, if it's happening subconsciously, those are some of the hardest things to let down and be vulnerable, be vulnerable about. But it also, when you are vulnerable, that's where most of the growth has come for me. When I've been vulnerable and allowed myself to let those walls down and I've acted out of a state of awareness, it has grown my emotional intelligence and therefore those three characteristics together, I believe drive the growth mindset. I'm curious, do you guys agree with me? Do you not? Am I missing something? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. We're gonna keep this growth mindset short and sweet, but if you're gonna join us in this growth mindset living, embody those characteristics with us and let us know are we missing any. With that, have a great week, week we're going into the weekend. Have a great weekend, my friends, and we will see you on the next one, baby.